Welcome my friends, this is Maniacal Incorporated and today I am going to continue with my Flan Cine playthrough in Ireland. In the last episode, Flan's wife slept with his liege, his stepfather, IRL, but just his liege in CK3, and had a son with him. And of course Flan didn't uh, arrest her or anything like that. If we see here, she has the adulterer trait, but Flan didn't arrest her. Because we needed the alliance. We needed the alliance with Ormond, which has now been absorbed into Ossery. So that alliance is gone. And now she's of no use to us. So she is... She's hanging on for now. One of our immediate problems this episode or in this, um, in this playthrough is going to be forming new alliances. All of our alliances are gone. Oriel has been conquered. Ormond has been conquered. The Vikings are on our doorstep. Our liege is fighting a holy war for Ulster, so he's becoming more and more powerful. So we do need to do something. What I'm probably going to try to do is form an alliance with either Leinster or Desmond. Whichever one I don't form an alliance with, I will try to conquer. And then... Uh, we're probably going to see if we can break up that alliance between Meath and Mori. So if we look here, here is my liege. Aed MacNeil, the High King of Ireland from 862 to 879. And we can see, can we see his child? That's actually my child. Well, I shouldn't say his child, that's actually my child. His child that could have been my child, his child that could have been passed off as mine, but isn't mine, named after my father, which is awkward. But there is Aed, and there is my wife. How could she do this to me? So yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff to do this episode, or for uh, for the next while going forward, uh, try to form new alliances. Possibly try and form new alliances with the Vikings because they're becoming a power in and around Ireland, and if we could at least use them to further our aims, that would be handy. Or if we could keep them from attacking us, we did get a lot of money from Ivar the Boneless. He was very nice to us. Gave us some money to kidnap his mayor. So, get some alliances, conquer some land, and try to break free from the tyrannical grasp of Mead and form a duchy of our own, probably Connacht, that will allow us to uh, pass down our territory some way intact, some way intact, um, because of the succession laws of the Irish at this point in time. So, while looking for more people to marry, I found this two-year-old, Siobhan, the daughter of the chief of the Ekinshalig in Leinster. So hopefully, uh, by proposing, proposing a betrothal, uh, this will give us an alliance. I think it will. Yeah, it'll give us an alliance, bring in another 500 men, uh, bring the total alliance up to 1,300. So that should allow us then to take Desmond and possibly even the rest of Munster. That might give us um, enough strength to take Munster. And if we can do that, well, then we're we're in line for the kingship. We just need more allies to take on Scotland, or we need to break up that alliance. So I'm going to send that proposal and see if he accepts. So you can see my liege is fighting in Ulster. And there we have it. He has accepted the betrothal, and we now have an alliance with Leinster. Excellent. So at the moment, we're also pretty badly caught for knights. One of them is a three, and he's a knight for some strange reason. So we have a nine and a seven. That's not great. We have a lot of wars coming up. So I think what we will do is we will invite some champions. It's an 150 cost uh, to prestige, but look, we'll take it. And we will see if we can get some good knights and build some bit of an army because we got some big wars coming up. Now, here is the woman that is maintaining an alliance, a strong alliance, between our chief, or our liege, and Mori in Scotland. And the chance of killing her isn't great. However, there are two potential agents. 50-50 chance that we will be exposed. Then again, he slept with my wife, so I don't think I care whether I get exposed or not. And plus, there isn't much of Ireland left out of his or my control at this point in time for people to be angry with us about. I'm going to start the scheme. If we can kill her, we can break the alliance between uh, him and Mori. And already, 
I think we've got people joining us. Eamon and the High Chiefess. Uh, or a high chiefess of me. Oh, I think that's maybe another one of his wives. Another one of his wives. Oh my god, this is turning into a drama. So another of his wives has joined the the plot to kill uh, the first wife. And let's see. We do have a good chunk of money. A good chunk of Norse money. Because, of course, the Irish didn't mint their own coins at this point in time. Uh, so we do have a good chunk of Norse money. Let's see who we can invite in. My friend, Thornal. Donal Mach Eard, who I'd swear is um, probably a son of Eard's from it. Well, he's definitely a son of Eard. It says so in his name, but he's a son from a from a different relationship. Um, let's see who has the most plot power. He has. So we'll invite Krahur. We'll see how much Krahur wants. First of all, that's the first thing. Krahur, um, thirty six sure. And we'll invite Donal. I like Donal. I like that we're turning Donal against his own family. We'll just invite those two for now and we'll see how much how much that adds to our uh, to our plot. So the first champion has arrived at our court, Kjarnok. Um and he looks good. Oh this this shy trait is absolutely killing me. Anytime I have to talk to somebody, it's uh, it's giving me stress. So I'm getting I'm getting pretty high levels of stress. We'll recruit him, and we will uh, obviously allow him to be a knight because he is vastly superior to everybody else. Now we're also under a bit of I won't say we're under a bit of trouble, but Athlone, our Osiri is attacking us, and I think we have some more raiders arriving, possibly at the same time. Or are they sieging us down as part of the, the war that we're in? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm going to wait for Athlone. I'm going to wait for Osri to maybe move off. And see then if I can uh, raise horses. So Athlone has been sacked by Karul. Uh, half of Greater Athlone is burning from the Assyrian sack. And Chieftain Karul is out there somewhere drinking from my personal cup. Not my personal cup. That fiend. I will avenge this slight. Oh, I will avenge this slight. So, Karul Makdunlene, if I'm correct, uh, that that's who's still in power at this point in time. Yeah, Karul Makdunlene, he would have been our father's brother-in-law, and would have actually waged war against uh, Mal Shaknail Makmal Runaid for pretty much for the independence of Osiri. It was a weird, it was a weird kind of um, a peace treaty. Osiri, Karul waged war, joined with the Vikings, and waged war against uh, Mal Shaknail, and Mal Shaknail was forced to... Well, he wasn't forced, but he forced Munster to accept Osiris independence. Um, so that's and that then split up the uh, the Viking alliance. So let's raise our army. And we'll march them up. And we'll uh, we'll have a conversation with these guys, and we'll check what our new perk is. We can never back down. Friendly fatal casualties goes down twenty percent, and advantage goes up five. That looks good. So again. I think Flan is commanding the armies, or maybe the new guy is. No, Flan is still commanding the armies. Ah, uh, my uncle is, or my stepfather is taking all the glory. I was going to fight them. We just barely come in at the very end and get some minor prestige and piety for. Uh, for that battle. God damn it. I wanted all the credit. I wanted all the credit. So Ulster looks to have switched hands again. I'm not too sure if that war is is still ongoing. Okay, so the guys we just attacked are attacking me. I didn't know this. I don't remember having a, a war declared on me. But uh, this babby, this little babby, is after declaring war on me. He's trying to conquer Brefni. And uh, that army that we just kicked out was um, was pretty much it, his entire army. So, and, and this is really weird. We have the uh, uh, Canadian of Mori, the guy who we're trying to, I think we're trying to kill his daughter to break up an alliance between him and my, my liege. Well, he's just after helping us. So, there you go. We got a couple of, oh no. There's our alliance with Leinster gone. So, what's after happening in Leinster? Lots of arrests. 
Lots of imprisonment, so our alliance with Leinster is gone. That's not great. Oh, how fickle Ireland can be at the best of times. So the time has come to assassinate. This is this is some good news at the very least. The time has come to assassinate. Uh, the... The wife of our liege. Um, are we going to do with spiders? Are we going to do it with, with poison powder? No, what are we doing? Uh, one of them will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles. Oh, she does love candles. Do it. 75% chance that she's killed. That's a good chance. I like, I like those numbers. The plan worked and she is dead. I have covered my tracks well, and if anyone suspects me for being behind the, t the attack, no one dare say it aloud. Yes, that's pretty good. I do love surprise visits. I even lost some stress because I'm a sadist, a, a shy sadist. So let's see what the political scenario on the island looks like now. So he is still allied. Um, he's still allied. That just means we need to kill more people through between High Chieftain Aed... Machanaid and High Chiefess Gormla Lick Gormla. So that's his mother. That's his mother that the alliance is actually between. We've just killed uh, a random person. Let's go kill more people. It's not his mother. I actually have no idea what relation this woman is. Nor do I care. Let's let's murder her. Um, predicted Agent 1. And it takes a long time because she's in Scotland. So we're going to start this scheme now. And let's see, is there anyone else we can invite to this conspiracy? we got a couple of people that are that are interested in helping us kill her. Ooh, not a lot. we got one person. So for 23 quid, we've spent a lot of money. This is going to basically bankrupt us. We've spent a lot of money inviting people, bribing people, uh, and it didn't really do a lot. So that's that's caused a small, small bit of problems for us. Um, our alliance to Leinster has collapsed. Let's see if we can form a new alliance. So the answer pretty much is no. No, we can't form a new alliance. We can, however, marry a giant baby. This baby, I think, is zero or maybe one or two years old. Um, it will give us an alliance to a county in France. I'm not too sure how likely they are to actually support us in any wars. But the baby's a giant. So if the baby does live long enough, Flan's going to be 40-something at that stage. So... Well, if the alliance uh, remains long enough, I should say, um, we might we might end up marrying a giant baby. So, yeah, we're going to send that proposal. Now, at this point in time, I'm getting very close to arresting my wife and possibly even executing her to, uh, to make more space. Uh, I think at this point in time, we're going to have to pretty much wait for that alliance to come true and see if it's time to attack Desmond. Okay, that's helpful and not helpful all at the same time. Um, Eloise... One of my secondary wives has given birth to another daughter. So I have a daughter from my primary wife, my traitor's wife, and from my one of my secondary wives. No sons, though. I thought polygamy was supposed to give me tons of children. So we're going we're gonna to leave the child as Orna. And that alliance has been accepted. Let's go and test it out. Let's attack Desmond and test out uh, the willingness of this guy to support us. So he will come to, uh, to aid us in our wars. Um, I, I won't lie, I didn't realize that he was a son of uh, King Charles the Bald, who our father sent an embassy to. So I don't think he's in line... I don't think he's in line for the... the the kingdom. He's an heir, but I don't. I think there's, there's like a few of them. Or maybe he is actually in line for the kingdom of West Francia, and we might have just allied ourselves to the King of France in the greatest five-dimensional chess move ever. Who knows? Uh, will we call him to war? I don't think we need him. But you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll frighten everybody by getting French troops on Irish soil. We're going to need them again in future in a couple of hundred years' time. So before I continue any further, I'll see if I can appoint some of these knights that have been showing up. We'll allow that guy. He's he's going to die. We'll recruit this guy. And um, allow him to be a knight. So he will take over. And now, yeah, we're pretty much bankrupt. We're Well, we're not bankrupt, but we're, we're out of money. Uh, it's looking like a good win here. 
probably don't even need those forces from France, but they might help us with the the, the pillagers from uh, Thoman that are wandering around. This is a lot closer than I expected. There's a good chance we won't even be able to siege down the territory, actually, now once we take it. Nope, it's okay, we're fine. The French have landed! And we have a son! Oh my god, we have a son, finally. Orphan Thoin. No, I don't like that. We're gonna we're gonna hit the randomizer a couple of times. Um this was which which of our wives was this? This was the lustful comely wife. Ooh. The Anglo Saxon. What are we going to name our first child? This could be the heir to the throne. This could be our successor, because we're not doing great with children. We're not doing great with alliances. The only alliance that we have is with a zero-year-old babby. Admittedly, a babby who has connections into the French Empire. I'm going to hit the, um... I'm going to hit the randomizer a couple of times. A good... We're going to go for a good insular name. And let's see what comes up. Okay, so this is an interesting one. After hitting the... After hitting the, um, the a good Irish name a few times, this is the one that they've they've given us. It's a, an interesting one, uh, Green Graffador. Um, so there was the the Green Graffadoruct, which were again like the Canucht or the Onucht. The the Canucht are the descendants of Can, and the the Onucht were the descendants of Owen. The Green Graffadoruct were the descendants of the mythological Irish king Green Graffador. Uh, it's not a common. It's not a common name in the dynasties of the e -Nail, but I think, you know, it's a fitting name for the founder of a dynasty. I was planning on calling uh, Flansina's first son Mol Rumaid, which is what he did historically, but I think we need to give our child a suitable and fitting name for, hopefully, a future High King of Ireland that we can pass our line down to. Flan is in a bad position at this point in time, his wife, his primary wife, has strengthened the dynasty of the of his of his uh, stepfather, of his liege, and weakened our own dynasty. I think Green Graffador is a suitable name. Let's let's uh, let's go with that. Uh, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son. They love Saint Breed for some reason, and hopefully we have a new. I think that is a new successor. It is Green Graffador Macflansina Inale will be the future of the family. We've taken Desmond, uh, captured Kukangal's wife, so things are looking up. Things are looking up for Flan Sinna. He was Flan Simpa at the start of this episode. He, he kind of still is. But um, things are beginning to look up. I might... I might, might make her my primary spouse. Because we haven't... She hasn't given us a child in a, a lot... Well, she's only given us one child. Six years ago, four years ago, then she uh, she gave us this, which thankfully we're not supposed to, we're not taking after, or we're not looking after. So, do I want to elevate her to my primary wife? There's no alliances here. I might as well elevate the baby to my primary wife. How old is the baby? Two. She's 34. I'm probably I'll elevate her to my primary spouse. It'll give her opinion. Good opinion of us. And... I suppose what you kind of need to do, it doesn't update automatically, it just yet. Let's see if we can divorce this wife. So again, this is the thing, uh, insular Christians should be basically allowed to divorce at will, but uh, High Chieftain Ed is not allowing us to do so. Because, of course, under Insular Christianity in CK3, we have to get the approval of our house head. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that. I think that's something that needs to be changed. Especially when the Pope comes in uh, as the head of the Insular faith. So we've completed this conquest. We will enforce our demands. We gain the contested title. Enforce demands. So be it. So... Athlone now stretches from Kerry to 
to to Athlone. Well, it doesn't. No, there's a bit in the middle. Munster has formed uh, an actual duchy. So we now have the duchy or the earldom of Munster. We're still just a big county. With the collapse of our alliance to Leinster, it might be worth it might be worth conquering Leinster as quickly as we possibly can. Um, we'll see if we can if we can get back control in some of these areas. the The control isn't doing great. Uh, Connacht, how's Connacht coming to? Control is zero. Control is two. So the control is fairly low in these places. Um, so we might we might see about getting the control up in some of them before we expand too much more. But we're pretty much going to have to take Leinster, and with that we will have five territories, just too short of forming the Kingdom of Ireland within Flansina's lifetime. So I've also just redirected my spymaster, it's a bit dangerous, to support schemes. So she's going to be uh, supporting the attempt to kill the High Chiefess Gormla in Maori to try and break up this, uh, or Maori to try and break up this alliance between them and Meath. And um, that's brought the, uh, the success rate up to 70%, I think it was at 58 so hopefully we'll see something there in the next in the next few months. We might hold on. We might do nothing for the next five months and see what actually happens. So some prisoners being released after our last war against Desmond. Now Ulster has switched hands again. It's actually part of Gwynedd. So it was conquered by the Vikings and conquered ah, in a holy war and then it was granted to... Uh, this dude. Okay. On the one hand, that's good. On the one hand, that's bad. Makes it harder for us to uh, to fight against. Um, makes it harder for us to fight against Wales. Oh, the time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the very night. So we're going to make an attempt on the. What's this? Is this um? Is this an error with the treaty modeling? It looks like. It looks like she has a, a large belly. I can't possibly, I can't possibly imagine what that could be. Seventy percent chance that we will kill Gormla. Fifteen percent chance that the scheme is discovered. Do it. The plan worked. The chiefess is dead. I do love surprise visits, and he got some happiness from that. If we come back up here, and now if we check, has it actually worked? It has. Kind of. Now, Aeth has a military strength of... I do wonder where he gets most of these numbers from. He has one county. I know where he gets those numbers from. I think most of those are mine. Um, it's possible that actually a lot of those are mine. Maybe not. I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, but it's saying that he has 900 men under his command. That seems a bit a bit high for a dude with just one county. Um... I thought there was two counties up there. I kept thinking there was two counties and that all we needed to do was take Meath and take Leinster and we could form Ireland. I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait a couple of seconds, get our numbers up so we, we can field close to 900, get our numbers up to the top and call in France into an independence war against Meath. Or we should do it right now before he has the opportunity to form any more alliances. This is, this is the moment that we're waiting for. He's defending against a raid. He is not happy. His alliances have collapsed. I think we strike against him right now as the news that one of his kinswomen have been killed comes into him. Um, he is... Oh, he's an aggressive attacker. I thought it was that he was a, a kinslayer. Right. We're going to declare war. We're going to declare an independence war right now. Green Graffador has claims. Where does Green Graffador have claims? Green Graffador doesn't have claims. <laughs> we can press Green Graffador's claims. No claims to press. Okay. Green Graffador. Green Graffador is a baby. So Green, Green Graffador just has a map of Ireland and he's just drawing lines on it, pretending that he, he owns everything. Um, Independence War. It'll cost us 125 prestige, which we don't have at the moment. Um, that's interesting. God damn it, we need more prestige. Oh no. Oh no, so one of the ways I think that we can get prestige 
is to raise our armies as raiders and um, pay a visit to Ossery. Or he forms an alliance before before um, before we have time to take this out. I will be. I don't know what I'll be, but I will be. So as you can see, we didn't do great. We got we got six gold and six prestige. Um, by having our men raised, we get a tiny amount of prestige. It's actually that we get a prestige penalty by not keeping our men raised. So. There's nowhere else on the island of Ireland to raid, except for... We can't raid Gwynedd because there's troops there. We can't re raid uh, Oriel because there's troops there. We won't raid this because it's our, our lieges that we're actually taking. We can't raid Dublin because Ivar... Ivar looks a bit young. Ivar the Boneless is after... Wait a minute, this isn't Ivar the Boneless. This is a babby with 560 men. So Ivar the Boneless looks to have died. Oh no, he doesn't. There he is. He's after giving Dublin to his um, to his child or to to somebody. I'm not entirely too sure how the child ended up in. Uh... Do you know what? I don't care. Let's raid Dublin. Does it actually have a lot of? Oh, it does. It has a lot of loot. Now we might be we might be summoning bad things down on top of us. Surely not. Surely the Vikings won't won't mind a bit of a raid. Uh, it took me a moment to recognize Katrina. She is so bruised and swollen, she barely looks human. As I grab her hand, my daughter attempts to speak, but no sound passes her lips. An obnoxious physician, the obnoxious phys physician, I should say, is standing in the corner of the room, anxiously wringing her hands. This will not happen again. I think she's a pretty good physician overall. So, yeah, we'll, we'll shout at her. And hopefully that'll sort her out. Cop on to yourself in future, woman. Because my major problem is to go anywhere else, to get off the island of Ireland. Ooh, is there somebody coming for me? There isn't. To get off the island of Ireland, it's going to cost us seven gold, at the very least. And that's a bit too much um, gold for my liking. And we don't have a huge amount of targets around the place that we can attack. We are very close, just a few months, and we should have the 125 prestige uh, to declare a war against our liege. Has the devil gotten married and rebuilt an alliance? He hasn't. I think he has married though, so he's in a position where he can't form any more alliances. I might be wrong, I might be wrong. So we have another lifestyle perk. Uh, Kingsguard isn't going to be much good to us. We, we can't even fill the positions that we have at the moment. Courtship isn't much of a use to us at the moment either, so we'll, we'll go and serve the crown, because it will help with the control growth. Um... So we're not really filling, filling out any of these actual trees. We're just going off around and around in a circle. So the control in Tralee or in Desmond is growing. So I've just moved my spy back to disrupting schemes. She doesn't, she doesn't like me massively. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... I won't say she doesn't like me massively, but I'm going to sway her. I'm going to, I'm going to make her like me a bit more. Uh, I've just seen now that my marshal has six more years to bring Desmond under control. Holy hell. Uh, it would be great if we could if we could get rid of this guy and get uh, somebody else. I don't think we have anyone that we can really put in place. Oh, yeah, this guy. We could recruit him with his three. Uh, yeah, he's pretty, much, he's pretty much the best that there is at the moment. We're not doing great for stewardship. So, again, just going back to our Irish cultural map. I'm just kind of giving a, a quick look through everything. Um... Our liege is our cultural head because, of course, he has the most counties. He has all of our counties, technically, and one as our liege. So this is another reason that we need to declare an independence war is to split off from him and actually become the Irish cultural head and probably redirect our attention towards barracks. Um, or maybe even onagers. I'm not really too sure what we might what we might redirect our attention towards. Uh, crop rotation. Ooh. City planning. That's actually quite interesting. We could start. We could start building uh, prayer halls. Actually, that would be a good one, because it is. It does look a bit weird that Ireland, in this point in time, it just has tribal holdings. I mean, there isn't even there isn't even a church in Iona. There isn't even a church in Armagh. It's tribal holdings. So it would be great to start uh, start building some stuff to start generating money. 
Ah, oh, we've gotten a mental breakdown. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's all we've ever wanted in life. Um, lately, it feels like I am constantly being distracted by li uh, lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships... I don't know. That, that's not stressful, man. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life. But what should I do about them? What's a man to do about the erotic, erotic thoughts in his head? I must sequester myself to avoid temptation. That doesn't sound great. So he becomes reclusive, loses 35 stress. And if you are still stressed in five years' time, you may suffer another mental break. Um, perhaps a new view on God will help me. Ooh, we lose a lot of piety. Convert to orthodoxy. What? <laughs> what? No. And, uh, or I'll bite my lip and stay focused and become even more stressed. Uh, we could just push for, for the achievement where we get level three stress. I don't want to be doing that, this to him because... Um, um, what does reclusive do? Diplomacy goes down, stewardship goes down, stress loss is increased. So what we're going to do, we're going to bite our lip, we're going to stay focused. We're going to bite our lip and stay focused. And we're going to see if we can do some feasts and things when this is finished. Flan, just stay sane long enough. Just stay sane long enough. Oh, his fertility goes down. Stay sane long enough. Oh no, the Earl of the Isles has showed up. Uh, my wife is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she has been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Am I the father, as she claims? He's getting a bit paranoid. Heloise uh, has given us a daughter already. I will look into this discreetly. We will look into this discreetly. Oh, the Isles have shown up. Oh, the Isles have shown up. Oh, no. They're not happy that I read it as Babby. Um, I'm going to disband the army. And you see our prestige growth drops. Chiefess Eloise's lips form a thin line in her rigid expression. It's almost a relief, you know, after a drawn-out silence, she finally admits it. The suffering bishop of Merzenberg is the true father of my child. The secret must stay between us. Everyone will know of your infidelity. God damn it, woman. I married you for your Amazonian traits. I did try to divorce this woman, so I did try to uh, to divorce her. So absolutely, let's. Um, everyone will know of your infidelity, and that should give me the ability to. Yeah, I'm prisoner. As I have fair reason, nobody will think that I am. Into the dungeons with you, Flansinna is sick of being Flansimpa, and still. Still, Aeth will not give me. Still, Aeth will not give me a divorce. This is another reason why I need to become the head of the house. Now, have the... Okay, no. Okay, they haven't... They aren't coming any further. <laughs> I thought they were coming for me. I thought the uh, Jorvik was angry and they were coming for me. Or not Jorvik. Uh, the Isles. So, I think it's time to set in motion our War of Independence. The Athlonian War of Independence against the... High Chieftain of Meath and the High Chieftain of Connacht, the same individual, our stepdad, who rode our wife in the last episode. Uh, Eilv, MacNeil, declare war. He has zero allies, an independence war. And we will gain independence from Eilv. And we declare. And Ireland is in civil war. The Enail have descended into civil war. First things first, we come to our four-year-old baby, uh, four-year-old betrothal that we're, we're betrothed to. We most certainly don't declare war, we call them to war, and we raise our armies. And so now, facing off against each other, the armies of Flansinna and the armies of... And the armies of uh, France. Flansinna and France against. I don't care about people having babies in prison. I'm, tr I'm trying to be dramatic about a war that I'm in the middle of. We're in the middle of a civil war. Okay. We're in the middle of a civil war. 
Uh, you're calling you're calling the child uh, Scanlon. You should have took out the a couple of letters and called him Scanlon. Because it's a scandal what you've done. We're going to either have to execute her or hopefully if we win this war. This is why we're fighting this war to become the head of the family. Oh my god, we're just like Henry VIII. We're uh, fighting this war pretty much to become head of the family. The way we can divorce two of our wives. One of whom rode the lad up here and had a child that isn't mine. If we do this, we're in a bad position. They have, they have a much better uh, they have a much better position here. So we might wait. We might wait for them French, French forces. We will march into Drumahair. Bastards! We'll march into Drumahair and we will wait for the French to come and join us. Or we will march into uh, Dunanaul and we will wait for the French to join us. <laughs> Uh oh Do no more than is necessary. I don't want to die. I'm even worse. Oh no So she did the exact same thing uh, the last time worse than disease symptoms for a year Should Flansina die from stress and from whatever it was that she just tried to shove up his hole this is bad because we have no we have no titles. Basically, all of this will well. It shouldn't actually be too bad. I think all of it will actually uh, fall to um, to Green Graffador. I think Green Graffador will become the count of everything. So it shouldn't actually be the worst. But it's definitely not something that we want to happen. And we can see the mighty French forces coming to join us. So we can deploy about thirteen hundred in battle with our current alliance. Thirteen fourteen hundred in battle. That's not too shabby. And there it is. Alach has fallen. Will we go? Will we go and just be and be devils? If the French are going to follow us, we will. We'll go and be devils. We'll attack this army. Nah, they're they're running away. They're scared. They're scared little babies. Fine, go on away off. Go on away off to Scotland. Enforce our demands. We will gain independence. To the cold-hearted chieftain Flansina, tales of your misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cathay. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. Yes, I am. You shouldn't have slept with my wife. So be it. And Athlone stands independent. Ah, and look at this. I think this is a, an auspicious moment to... To bring this episode to an end, Athlone has gained its independence, and we are told that our son, Grian Grafador, is a ruler in the making. Half of the time he's trying to tell me what to do, instead of the other way round, formidable or aggravating. It's a fine line to walk. He's bossy. So his marshal and his stewardship goes up. That's fantastic, because we're in a bad, a bad position when it comes to stewards. We have declared independence from Mead, and in the next episode we will continue our relentless march towards the High Kingship.